Testing one, two, check, check, check. We, we could just keep listening to this guitar. I know you guys love it. Maybe not. Good morning. Hello, 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 hello. It is, uh, it is Wednesday. And, uh, it is, uh, coloring day. It is coloring stream day. Uh, my name is Kurt. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And, uh, hello everybody. How's it going? It's a nice guitar. <laughs> hello. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Uh, so, uh, exciting today we're actually going to color a comic book today i don't know it's it's been a while it's been a couple of weeks and uh i decided to get back to doing uh you know the usual and uh luckily i'm on a project that uh, they don't mind if i if i stream it on youtube and uh but the, let me uh, let me tell you guys about this before i forget about it so uh let's see where's my email uh so this is from a, a book called uh black box chronicles let me get it right <laughs> uh black box chronicles from uh magnetic press it's an anthology i love anthologies i've done a bunch of anthologies anthologies are how i got started so it's cool to be asked to join one as opposed to to begging to be on one a lot, a lot has changed in, in 10 years <laughs> but uh but yeah, it's called uh, Black Box Chronicles. Uh, this is drawn by Drew Moss. And um, who wrote this? Uh, let's see. Uh, Mark Shea and um, Taki Soma. So, exciting stuff. Uh, so let's see. What's going on in the chat? Uh, you finally, uh, Jason has COVID. Oh, finally have COVID. Welcome to the party. Yep. I'm glad you could finally join us. Yeah, I finally got it a couple of weeks ago myself. Almost made it the full three years, but I hope you get to feeling better. And, uh, and yeah. So, um, space. We're doing space again, by the way. Um, how many space books have I done? I, actually, what was funny about this one, um, was when they reached out and uh, they said, you know, we love your work. We, we, you know, love you do something on this. And I was like, well, what, you know, what book did you see? Did you, did you, did you like, you know, I've done a lot of books over the years, like in a lot of different styles. And so it's like, uh, you know, what's, um, you know, what's the deal with this one? And um, they said infinite dark, which was 2018, 2019. That was a thousand years ago. I had to look it up to see what in the hell I did. <laughs> and so, anyway. But yeah, space, man. Um, it's a good thing I like space. I don't think it's an accident that I ended up in a bunch of space books. Um, <clears throat> I've actually... I've got... Got it right here. Hold on. Yeah, this dug this out the other day. We're about to start coloring in a second, guys. Everybody, this is a <laughs> this is a 1969 World Book Encyclopedia. This was the internet, kids, before uh, the internet, and um, I would read this for fun. Okay, the S one is the one I took from my house when I left home because it was the space one. So, I think that's why I ended up working on a bunch of space books. I I may have have um, I may have had my own path there. You got Infinite Dark recently. Looks great. Oh, hey Teddy, how's it going? Hey Jason, how's it going? Uh, I also got the first Forestry Glitter Bomb. Love that one too. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you like it. So, um. I'm going to double check the strip real quick and make sure 
Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah, you gotta check the scripts, people, and make sure that there's like any you know, of the ship flies past the pink nebula or something, you know. It doesn't happen too often, but you never know. Uh I also read the encyclopedia for fun. We are a rare breed. Rare is a nice way of putting it. <laughs> Rare's rare's a really nice way of putting it. I used to read dinosaur encyclopedias. Dude, the, the D encyclopedia was the other one. The, the, those were the two that was completely worn out. The space and dinosaurs. Uh, I have yet to color, um, I have yet to color a, uh, a dinosaur book. And I, I need to work on that. That, that needs to be uh, a priority. Um... I'm just gonna throw some stuff around here and maybe some of this I will keep and some of this I won't. I don't really know. We're just gonna put a bunch of different colors up here. I don't know why I started whispering like Bob Ross. It looks sort of like Northern Lights. They shouldn't be up this high. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You're either a dinosaur kid or a space kid. I, I was I was definitely both. I was definitely both. Do the whole Bob, do the whole thing like Bob Ron. And now a soft brush. <laughs> and let's see what else. I also want to. What if we tint these lines a little bit um i don't know i'm gonna shrink this a few pixels so i don't get the inks and we're gonna put a clipping mask on the ink layers And I don't want to completely wash away everything Mr. Drew here is drawing, but we'll do a little, a little something like that. There we go. Looking like space. I think it's looking like space. We got a lot of stars. All right, so I have a trick for stars. I learned this on Money Shot, <laughs> which is which is another space book that I that I did. Um, when I became a big time colorist one day, I want to do the Bob Ross thing. I'm still small. Or are, are, are anybody? You you could you that's fine. You can do that. You can do it all the time. All right. So we want to make these stars sparkle. All right. Or or not sparkle, but they're gonna um they gotta glow a little bit. And let me explain if you're just joining what's going on with these layers, because I, I have questions about these layers. So, uh, inks are on a transparent layer, and I made them transparent by clicking this button right here, which is convert brightness to opacity. It is one of the mysterious buttons. You can also get to that uh, by going to edit convert brightness to opacity. Anything that is in a menu that you don't want to dig around in, put it in your quick access. And uh, anyway, so that's that. We've got a clipping mask on top of that to stick the color to, to that thing. And then um, is all of this on? I can do all this on one layer, separate layers. These are two normal layers. This is where all the colors you're going to see are going to be. I'm going to label this base so it's a little bit clear. Flats look like that. We won't be using those other than for selections, though. The flats is set as a reference layer, and my wand is set to refer to reference layers. How about that? And then uh, this is just uh, to quickly get the characters or the backgrounds uh, selected, and then all the panels are separated on a separate layer, so I can grab a whole panel at one time if I want to. Um, did I make that mark, or was that mark already there? already there okay um what was i about to do stars so if we 
control click, and I'm going to do a lesson pretty soon on YouTube about all the selection tricks that you can do in Clip Studio. But if I click the inks, you will see that it selects all of the black uh, in the inks. And if I invert that, it switches to just the white. And now the stars are sparkling. It's magic. Um, not, well, we, we can't keep, we can't make it sparkle in the comic book though. So, um, but what this does, so we've got the white part selected. So now if I get on top of this with a bright color, it brightens the stars. It's also brightening the background a little bit more than I want. So what I'm going to do is shrink the selection by one pixel and that should get rid of yeah that gets rid of anything except for the biggest stars which is kind of what we want and something like that And I'm also going to, let me just, should I, well, no, let me try something here. I just wanted to brighten that all a little bit. Lovely space. Are you painting on a blending mode layer or normal? Uh, you can see in the layer window, one thing that's good about Clip is it actually uh, will give you the blending mode. And so you see all of these are normal. If I make something that is not normal, it will say that, like hard light. Um, I can make layers with my mind, like that. I also have, or a keyboard shortcut, actually. <laughs> but yeah, there are these right now this is normal, but who knows, that might change. The animals section two. Oh yeah. Make sure I haven't selected anything else. Oh, I've got some splash over here. Let's fix. Where is that coming from? Oh, it's coming from there. Also working on a space story. Close-ups of stars can be fun. Oh, yeah. Now, on top of the lines is where we're going to do any glowing. Because if you try to do glows under your lines, it's not going to work. Because then you have, uh, like if I try to do this under the lines, they don't really look like they're glowing. Because you got that black ring, which would not show up if they were glowing. Um, and if you ever, if you ever want to make something look like it's really hot, then go white in the middle. I'm going to say that these are those little markers they have on planes that, I don't know, tell you they're coming? I don't know what, you know, warning other planes? And these kind of look like they might be windows. I don't know if they are or not. Might just be design stuff. I don't know. 
If it is, we'll fix it. You're a small time colorist. You normally have some Starfield stock image. Yeah, I, I did some of that. I did a little bit of that, but you get a little bit more confident in it and you don't have to worry about it as much. I'm gonna make a couple of selections here so that I can see what this levels adjustment looks like compared to it. Tinted a little blue. Y'all doing all right this week though? Uh, I went to New Orleans last last night. When was that? Yeah, last night to watch uh, the Pelicans um, basketball team, not the not the bird. To be clear. And um, I left in the middle of the third quarter because the weather was getting bad and they were getting annihilated by, I don't know, 20 points or something. And by the time I got on the interstate, which was about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes after I walked out the door, I was like, oh, let me turn the radio on and see where they ended up and ended up coming almost all the way back and or all they did come all the way back and then um blew the game winning three to win the game so i guess i learned my lesson that <laughs> i was trying to beat the weather but they proved me uh they basically told me yep this is what you get for leaving the game early Whoops. That game was beyond over. Yeah, it, it really should not have uh, been able to come back like that. <laughs> but Denver blew like seven possessions in a row, and yeah, it was just... Shouldn't have been that close. I'm, I'm guessing all of these are little lights also, maybe. Looks like a spaceship. Oh, I forgot the little, uh, Got the lights on the little one at the bottom. Drag that color.
Anyway, how are y'all doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to double that levels adjustment just to uh, get another level of brightness, basically. Doing okay if I can hit my deadline. Oh, yeah, I feel that. I feel you, dude. All right. And I'm referencing my script again. That is the wrong script. It's like in the supreme evil, all the darkness in the world. In panel two, I'm like, hmm. No, it's the wrong, wrong tab. <laughs> Let's see, what is going on? Um, do, do, do. Looks like we're all working in space today. Hey, what's up, Steve? Is there uh, a lot, a lot of a uh, lot of space going around? Is that the deal? Oh, it bugs me when my fighter does this. Um, yeah, if you have two different like planes, don't make them the same color. Make your colorist happy. Then I gotta get rid of all that. That was like 10 seconds of work I had to do. You're working in a log cabin. Yeah, well, somebody's gotta get all the, you know, the full spectrum, man. <laughs> Let's see, did I get all that? Nope. So I'm going to start with, uh, like we'll go dark in here, except for those lights at the top. Do, do, do. Let me stay inside the lines. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to switch these. This is getting on my nerves. Um, all right, so all of that, if I erase that, make that a different color. I should be able to only select the inside of this thing now. What are you doing? Save me. Wasn't Clip Studio going to, wasn't the new update going to uh, do something about the uh, auto saving? I thought, I thought that was, I thought that was part of the plan.
maybe not. I thought they were going to get rid of the pause, like the like you know the, the whole app just completely stops when it auto saves, and that little window pops up. And uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's the a future version that is not out yet <laughs> that I that I don't know about. I may have mis misunderstood the situation. It was supposed to be faster and more of a background process, but but was that on? I guess what I'm asking is, was that was that on one of the supposed to be one of the new updates that is not out yet? Because that's a possibility. Yeah, I've got mine set. It's all. It's about as low as it'll go. Uh, whatever, whatever it is, I think it's set to five minutes. Man, do I want to start doing reflections on the floors? <laughs> That's a choice. They go pretty quick. Yeah, that's the thing about... This is a short, so there's nothing I'm going to have to do too many times. <laughs> but I was sitting here thinking like, man, if this was a book where I had to do shiny floors everywhere... That gets uh that gets old quick. <laughs> do you use their cloud to save documents? I do not. I do not. Yeah, every everything I do gets saved in uh I'm working out of a Dropbox folder. And so as soon as I hit save, within about twenty seconds it is save it is on the web <laughs> and backed up so my computer could explode and it wouldn't make any difference that's as someone who used to work in IT that's how i operate <laughs> i don't trust anything to ever do anything it's supposed to do uh so i i use i use dropbox Fifteen minutes, you're a masochist. Yeah, I just wanted to redo fifteen minutes of work. <clears throat> Excuse me. The PS Cloud helped me several times go to an earlier version. Dropbox does that too. <laughs> this is why it's one of the main reasons that I use it. Um, there, there's been plenty of times where I've like tried to uh, like I've overwritten a file or done something dumb, and so I try to. Uh, Try to try to keep it pretty up to date.
Yeah, I think the way Dropbox works, like every time you save, I think it creates an iteration. So you can go back and figure out what you're doing. Do, 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 do. Let's see, where do we begin? I've never used anything but the free Dropbox. I assume you have one of their pay tiers. Oh, I pay them plenty. I pay them like $45 a month because that's the only, that was, the, here's how they get you is if you have like, they may have changed it, but in order to get like more than a terabyte or more than two terabytes or more than whatever it is that I have, um, or what the, whatever comes with it, um, they also require you to buy three user licenses. And so it's very slick how they do that. <laughs> so instead of $15 a month, it becomes, you know, I think it's 45. Yeah, but I've got, I've got a lot of space. I've got like, I don't know how much it is. It's, uh, how much is it? I don't even know if they, yeah, they don't even bother like showing me. Uh, it's, <laughs> I don't think it's, it's plenty. Yeah, I got five terabytes of storage. That's a lot. So for $45, I'm getting a lot. Or I feel like I'm getting a lot. Don't want to go down that road. Yeah, th th and there, there, might, there might be, you know, there might be better ways. But I, I've been using Dropbox for a long time. And I trust it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, but. I wish I could remember. Yeah, I don't remember what I... I think it's always been Dropbox. Like, I, I've tried a couple of different ones. Um, I'm not in the iOS ecosystem, so I don't know anything about Apple's cloud. Um, yeah, I've got I've got the iPad, a Windows PC, and an Android phone. So I, I try to make, <laughs> make sure. <laughs> I'm covering all the bases. Ah, Google Drive, I got that too. Uh, I wonder, I read this through and I can't remember if there is a description of their clothing colors or anything. I don't think there's anything like that. Well, we can always change it if we need to, but I don't, I think that'll be up to me. Sorry, I'm reading script here. Give me a second.
I will never get used to how strange it is how warm gray becomes. <laughs> I, <coughs> excuse me. I know I know I've 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 done this little demonstration on this stream plenty of times and you guys are probably no longer impressed, but I still am. <laughs> when it, when I just turn the saturation down on blue and it feels like it turns brown, it's color theory is weird, guys. So this nothing up my sleeve. Okay, this, um, all this is blue, right? Okay, it's blue. Various blue. And I'm going to open up Hue Saturation and turn the saturation down, and it warms up. Because we're heading, we're heading across the color wheel. Let me explain this for anybody real quick. Real, real, real quick. I know you guys get tired of hearing my lessons, right? Oh, let me turn to do that. So we're over here. And we're going that way. Sorry, I can't see that. Going that way. So as we get less and less saturated... We're headed toward warm. Your brain sees the direction you're going. You don't have to get there. You don't have to get to the warm. It just sees that you're headed there and your brain goes, oh, that's warm. The other thing, the other, another way to think about this is when you have something that is warm and you shine a cool light on it or a cool environment, it will tend to neutralize. It will tend to, <clears throat> um, I guess because everything is bluish, even grayscale can look opposite the color effect, everything around it. Yeah, that's what's happening. It's because it, the environment is blue. If, if I, if I select the background in these two panels and shift it away from blue to something warmer then they cool off so it's it doesn't really matter which way you go grays will pull you in the opposite direction basically Hope you're not too late to the stream. I'm not on the clock. <laughs> Unless there's something I don't know about. Alrighty, let's see. I like the idea of... Uh, so I've got this little bright area back here. Maybe throw in some light over this these clo the, the, the clothes again just to sell what's happening here I gotta figure out how I'm gonna render this I don't really know what I'm doing on this yet I don't know if I it's been a while since I've done a first page on a stream before because <laughs> usually it's like alright I gotta figure out what I'm doing here we're getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start making some more rendering choices here before too long Oh wow, love that sky. Oh hey Cordarius, how's it going? Welcome man. Welcome back. Hmm, 
does this have well, it's got a little texture to it a little more than I thought I don't think it looks bad though Been busy with work just starting to work on panels myself still nervous to just jump right in uh, I understand that I do understand that it definitely um, I think I take that for granted sometimes I, I, I just I think I've been because I've been drawing since forever um, it's sort of uh like the idea of of like not knowing where to begin is something that i don't know if i appreciate completely because i i hear it from you guys quite a bit and uh sorry i'm gonna select the contents of what i just painted and then get on this layer and whoops and brighten this up in a few spots. Excuse me. Yeah, that's got a little too much texture for skin. As a colorist, do you get the color schemes of the world? Uh, usually not. Co clothes, skin, vehicles, etc. Or do you use autonomy? What does a comic book brief look like? <laughs> pre pre coloring. Where where are these pre coloring briefs? Who's getting pre coloring briefs? Are you guys getting pre coloring briefs? Sorry, Teddy. I'm just messing with you. But no, um, I don't. We just we get a script, and some projects um, you might get some. Um, <laughs> uh, if you're lucky, you'll get some uh, maybe some some drawings, some uh, maybe a, a few designs or something. Um, but no, the majority of the time it's up to you. It's the colorist's job to uh, figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's not to say, like I said, there are some projects that are more kind of put together as far as that goes, but it's not that common, I don't think, to have other than maybe some character designs and stuff that's really it but as far as like the world i i don't i haven't been a part of a book that had anything like that <laughs> sorry yeah steve's got it right i'm lucky to get the time of day <laughs> yeah there, there was a stretch where like I don't know, a while back, I uh, I did a search in my email with just time of day. You know, it's like, you know, you have 65 emails. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, getting time of day is is nice when you can get it.
that to me if, if i ever uh i don't yes yeah, it's, it's one of the biggest pet peeves of mine is to get is to get a book and like have no idea about what time it is <laughs> In some books, it doesn't, I mean, seem like this, I don't, you know, I don't know if it matters that much. <laughs> you sort of get the context clues from the, from the page. You don't need it explicitly spelled out. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna see what this looks like with, uh, Uh, where is it? View. CMYK is going to destroy this first panel, I think. Maybe not completely. I stayed out of those weird greens better than I thought I did. <laughs> but yeah, um, <clears throat> I have started using clips. Um, what do you call it? Clips. Um, CMYK preview a lot more lately. I feel like it's uh I feel like it's doing uh not bad. Anyway. Questions, comments, concerns. And sometimes when you you get a you get your rendering looks a little too chunky for whatever it is you're doing, like these sheets switch to a blender and kind of smooth some of that out. I'm still using I'm using that watercolory brush that um I first got on what was that? I don't even remember what book it was. Uh Nightfall. Really like that brush. How did you do that profile preview? Um, it's the same shortcut. It's control Y, but if you want to change it, if you go to view color profile preview settings, uh, the profile per preview, this one, the sheet fed coded V2, uh, relative calorimetric. If you set it up like this, it ends up looking it ends up working pretty well as a CMYK preview in Photoshop. Oh hey Julio, I missed a message from you. Uh glad to see you're here. Had a lot of comic book work applying what I've learned from you and asking if you like incantations metal music. Cheers from Monterey. Good good to see you again, Julio. Sorry I missed your message. Um uh, metal I I have not found 
metal music that works for me. Um, it, uh, I, I think just the screaming uh, it gives me anxiety. Uh, it's too much yelling. <laughs> but it's not to say that I, I don't know, metal is very broad these days. There's a lot of different types. I'm sure there's some type that I like. I don't know. Because I like a lot of different kinds of music. Metal is the one that uh, more often than not uh, is not what I'm not what I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> so there's th there's that. I don't I want to upset the metalheads. I have respect for you, but uh, I have I have a tough time with uh, with metal. Um, is Louisiana boy James? You sound like you were named by Theo Vaughn. Uh, welcome. Um, is Clip Studio Paint still good? Ye nope. I'm just using it because no, it's fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Miss Smartass. Um, what if the artist adds more to the script and turns the panel into pages? Because my friend is doing that, I'm worried this is going to be my first interior, interior comic coloring. But good luck to you, Teddy. Um, makes me anxious. I love rock. Thought that it has some in it. Yeah, like I, I don't. So what? What do you call? Um, what is that band? Oh man, I'm not going to be able to think of. I won't be able to think of them. There's a... Give me a second here. There is a... Mm, I don't... Whoops. Sorry. Grabbed the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's see. It's a long song. Maybe I can sort it by... Dragon Force. I, I like some Dragon Force. I'm not a dra I don't know Dragon. They could walk in my front door. I would not know what they look like. Um, I'm not a huge fan. But they ha they have some songs that uh, I liked. I think that was them. And there's a song, Wheel of Time. Was that them or somebody else? Some of that I can get into. But I, I am way outside of my element talking about this. <laughs> uh, what can the artist on a book do to make things easier for the colorist if the artist is working digitally? That is so interesting that you're asking that question. <laughs> I was literally thinking about making a video about this. It wouldn't have to be very long. Um, I would say... I mean, if you're telling me like I can get whatever I want from you as an artist, if if the foreground actually just just separate your any texture from the ink, that, that, that's that's about it. If you do any washes, put them on a separate layer. Uh, yes, you can work with everything on one layer, but I'm just you're asking me what I want. Then uh, then yeah, any any kind of uh, accessory special effects and anything that's that's separate uh will help but also you know don't send me a file with 40 layers either it should be coherent it just, it, someone should just be able to open it up and see what you're doing and if and if it if it doesn't work that way then just send me one layer and, I, and it'll be fine <laughs> but yeah there's a middle ground in there um, I'm sorry I'm terrible at coloring and talking at the same time um, as you guys well know but um, that would that would be my advice uh, Cordarius I, I if you watched the most recent, uh, I think that was in that book, in that video. Um, the most recent um, 
how I color with Clip Studio lesson, I'm fairly certain that I I'm fairly certain that I covered a basic flatting process on that. Do I? Am I lying? Give me a second. Um, there's me. Oh, that's my channel. I'm watching myself live. That's not what I want to do. tutorial yes I, I will I will link this I I, I I explained that fully I think or maybe not fully fully but <clears throat> but yeah that video breaks down why I flat how I flat from panels to big elements to smaller elements all that stuff Do I know a Brazilian painter named Mike? I don't. How am I? I'm good. Also, over the time I followed you, sorry, ice in my mouth. Uh, I've learned so much, and my character art is looking amazing. Learned a lot in college, but your lessons really helped me create some amazing, authentic work. Thank you very much, Darius. I appreciate that. Thank you for your membership, also, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And hugs from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, man. Why is... Oh. <laughs> it never fails. Why doesn't this brush work? Because I'm on the blender. <laughs> I do that so much when I'm working with these two brushes. I just reconnected. Are you guys here? Am I on the internet? I forgot to ask today. <laughs> okay, yeah, my OBS crapped for a second there. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I'm going to come back over this with some more highlights in a, in a second. If you're wondering or thinking these are all looking kind of subtle or something, let's go as they are. You never post in the Discord group 
I don't know why I get nervous. Dude, it's cool, man. Like, everybody that posts on there, like, I get, like, having someone critique your stuff is scary. But I'm I'm pretty nice. I, I like I'm not one of those people that's gonna be like you're garbage. You need to quit. You need to go back to working at McDonald's. Or you, I'm not that guy. Like you know, I've heard about people like that, <laughs> and I don't want to be one of those people. So, but yeah, don't be afraid to post something, man. But if you are, I understand. No pressure. Loser? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I just put messages in the Discord. Uh, oh, you'll, you'll post something this week. All right, awesome. Well, that's cool. Well, good luck. I had to throw you off, man. Maybe what that's what the channel is missing. Lean into that Ethan Becker vibe. I don't know who that is. Uh, get a broken cigarette. cigarette. <laughs> like, listen up, kids. My, I think my internet is being goofy. All right. Again, sorry that I can't talk and <laughs> work together. Oh, man. You would think after this much time... All right, let's see. I want to look at, I, I don't know why, I still have issues trusting this app. I'm going to export this um, as a PSD and just get a quick look at this, especially since this is the first page. I don't want to start, get into this palette, and then it look weird in Photoshop for some reason. So real quick, we're going to do a save duplicate as PSD. And that's all fine. And that looks great. That looks great. We're good. All right. As you were. Oh, I lost the chat. Where'd you guys go? Here we are. Uh, at least it's not down for long. The stream just refreshes like a second or two and returns. All right. Well, good. And uh, I got to show you guys something real quick. Did I tell you guys about my sewer? Did I tell you guys about the sewer last week? Uh, Kurt, does your tablet have sensitivity to rotation? It seems that many tablets are only sensitive to tilt as well as pressure. Do you know if iPads have this? Um, I don't know. I mentioned the sewer. Did I show you pictures? It's not as bad as it sounds. I don't think I showed any pictures. Give me a second. I got this is so real quick. This has been my life <laughs> the last couple days. Um, you didn't see photos, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Copy image. All right. So 
I had to get my sewer line replaced all the way to the road. And it was really expensive. Now, I'm a lay person, but this is my sewer pipe. This is not my sewer pipe. This is AT&T. So the guy calls me out to the road and he's like, good news, you're gonna have to get with AT&T, but they should be the ones paying for this. So I have several really nice clear cut pictures that they obviously screwed up my uh, line. So I'm really hoping that I don't, I mean, I'm gonna get the runaround. It's gonna take me months to probably uh, work that out. But I'd rather it take months than pay the three grand it's going to cost, or it did cost me to uh, get that done. Well, they didn't know they ran through the pipes, but yeah, that's exactly what they did. They came through here about two months ago, and they were putting down uh, fiber of some kind. And uh, yeah, they, the, the method that they use for that kind of sucks. They basically just go underground and start digging sideways and uh, apparently don't really look at where they're going. Or that seems to be my, how I took it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I had the pictures. Wouldn't you feel that? No, they're using a big machine, man. This machine literally just what is it? I don't even know what they're called. They're like, they're it bores. You know what I mean? So it's not like they dig down and then go digging sideways. Like they just get the machine that's just doing this sideways. And so it just cuts right through everything. Sorry, heard a weird noise. And I'm sure when it happened, we would have heard like a rattle or something. We would have definitely heard something, but I don't know if I was here when it happened. Like, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know a whole lot about it. <laughs> but yeah, I learned all, I learned a lot about toilet plumbing <laughs> this week. <laughs> More than I want to know, technically. I think I like this. Um, what I typically do on a new project is to send um, send it to the <clears throat> creative team after a page and be like, how does this, you know, stylistically, how are we doing? Um, my throat is, hold on. <clears throat> okay, you there, sorry. Yeah. What are some of your go-to planes for specular highlights on faces? Go-to planes. Um, I don't know. That's hard to answer. Uh, 
I don't know if I think of it like that in terms of like go to planes. I mean, there's definitely certain angles that I would say I'm more comfortable with. But, you know, I love the way the light on him is particular, really wraps and cuts into the sharp details and form. Yeah, and, and this is a difference, too, in just dark and light skin tones. Um, dark skin tones are going to reflect. It's it's hard to tell on this, but the, the blue on him is a little bit more saturated. It's actually quite a bit more saturated than what it is on her. Um and so you get like, um, you get like tighter, is that the right word for it? Like tighter speculars, I guess, on it. Um, but yeah, I think other than, I'm gonna warm up these faces a little bit in a few places just to add some, uh, A little bit of something interesting to these people. And especially given just how cool everything is, there's really not a lot of, uh, not a lot of color needed here. But it helps a lot. Especially in things like faces and hands and just to break it up. Whoops, sorry. I'm taking a little bit more saturation out of the base color to warm him up a little bit more even. Again, just warming him up a little bit more just to create a little bit of separation between her and him across here and I think I dig this I think we're good but I'm gonna uh, I'll send this over and see what they think and uh, we'll go from there but any uh, how we doing on time I think about an hour Yeah, I don't think it, yeah, when I get to that point where I'm doing more uh, staring at it than working, I'm usually at a good spot. I see this is going to be a 160-page book. Can I keep you busy? Yeah, it's an anthology, so I, I'm not doing all of them. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do as much as I can fit into my schedule. So probably at, at least two of them. They're like 10, 12, 10, 12 pages each, I think. I'm actually, I don't know if I like how, I think I want to push the 
contrast on this panel a little bit more. Um, yeah, actually, probably maybe both of them need it. But I'll do them individually just. Yeah, whoops, wrong layer. Brightening the brights, darkening the darks a little bit. That looks a lot better. Hundred and sixty pages. Yeah, like I said, it's a big, big anthology. Uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, I, need, I actually need to find out like release dates and stuff like that because I don't really know. But um, questions, comments, concerns. This window's a little too... Oh, I know what I want to do, I bet. Yeah, let's brighten that up a little bit. Maybe. That's what we needed. <laughs> I was like, why does this look bad? Because that window is not different enough. <laughs> Before, after. And I think we'll actually do a little... Little glow... Yeah, on the top of that one. Yeah, it's subtle. But it works. I'm gonna leave this alone before I keep messing it up. <laughs> I hear there's a 16 inch iPad coming out. I'm excited for that. Is that true? Is that gonna happen? That's the rumor. That's been the rumor for a while, though. iPad Ultra. Man, I would... A 16-inch iPad, I would buy. I think I would. Yeah, I'm looking. Likely 20... Yeah, it's saying sometime this year. One of those... Excuse me. Sorry about that. One of those with one of these M2... Whatever. M2 Ultra. M maximum. Whatever they're calling them. That would be a beast. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading rumors about 16-inch iPads now. Are iPads good to draw on? Yeah. Yeah, they're good at drawing. If 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 they if they if if iPads had easier like keyboard support and like universal keyboard support for like all the apps, then I would probably use it. But I really hate that Procreate is so limited in that way. Last time I used it, you couldn't... It would work with a keyboard, but you couldn't adjust the keyboard shortcuts. <laughs> so, I'm like, what's the point of that? I think you're jumping all over the keyboard. Like, all of my... My left hand never moves. It's why you guys never... You rarely see me look at the keyboard, unless I'm trying to figure out where the alt button is. And 
or, or the name of the alt button i can like like is that control or alt it's the one i'm pressing that one you know like that and and then the procreate defaults you know it's like press k l m like that's over there on the other side of the keyboard what are you doing But yeah, I, I tell everybody, like, if you're just looking to get in digital art in general, maybe not coloring specifically, but if you're just, just getting the digital art, I, I recommend iPads across the board. Get an iPad, get Procreate, and don't worry about it. Ever using Photoshop or Clip or anything. But for coloring on an iPad, I don't know. I mean, they've got a Clip Studio version. But yeah, I don't know. That would be something. 16 inches. That's a lot. Made for Procreate. Yeah, here's how many have we? Is there a countdown to when Procreate becomes a sculpting app? Also, I just I'm telling you, I think it's coming. They're they're dabbling in the 3D. I just think they're getting further away from what I needed to do. <laughs> Still. And I feel like I've had this discussion a million times. Anyway. All right. Let me export this time lapse before I forget about it. They had asked me to record time lapses that they could use for uh, social media stuff or whatever. So I had to remember to save it as a clip file. That's my problem. It's like first thing I do is save it as a, PD, a PSD, and then um, I lose my time lapse when I do that. Anyway, questions, comments, concerns. Page is this? Page one. I color all my stuff in Procreate, but with a 16 inch, I'll put switch to clip. It's too crowded on a 13 inch screen. I agree. I agree completely. Um, whenever I was using clip um, on the iPad, I was also um, like I had stripped the UI as far down as it would go, and I still needed too much room. You know, I feel like half the screen was taken up with stuff, you know? I gotta turn my AC down. Hold on. It is not cooling off. You end up with three inches of drawing area. Yeah. And, and the other thing, too, like, if, if I was doing, like a really like loose painty book that like wasn't so reliant on selections I would use procreate like I really like how it feels like I, I don't think you can beat the apple pencil and the ipad is an ipad ipad boy I just went I went all the way back home there the ipad I don't think you can beat it like as far as just how it feels I don't think you can beat it so if they make a 16 inch that would be pretty awesome. But I don't, man, I, it, how expensive is that mirror going to be? Really, LOL? I don't know what the really is for, but... iPad, yeah, we added an extra syllable in there. You wouldn't need a laptop. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you don't need anything else. <laughs> that's why I recommend it for like, like my, like even like my nephew's getting into, well, he's not in getting into it. He's been into digital art and like he's got an iPad and loves it. Yeah, you really, I mean, as far as like a one stop shop, <laughs> that's a bad, bad phrasing, but yeah. Uh, for just one device that does as much as possible, I, you still cannot beat the iPads. 
It's just I like I like my keyboard shortcuts too much. But yeah, an iPad with good keyboard support would, and I would uh I'd go nuts. I want to see what this time lapse looks like. Some of these are more exciting than others. But yeah, if you missed the beginning of the stream, this is where we started. Yep, just that easy. <laughs> just comes together. It always looks like you're confident in all of your decisions, especially when you're uh, watching a time lapse. <laughs> it's like, look at how smart I am and fast I am. Yeah, all your decisions look great on a time lapse. I usually do time lapse of 60 seconds. You can, but you can't extend that. I can always shorten a time lapse. <laughs> you know, you can always make one shorter or faster or whatever, but you can't add information to 60 seconds. Uh, now that they're integrating it more with Mac, the keyboard support is getting better. But here's the thing, like, so they just put out a new uh, base level iPad, I think, for like four hundred and something dollars, four forty nine, and that that's like the base base iPad. It's not an iPad Pro or iPad Air; it is a base iPad. The keyboard for it is two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars for a keyboard. So by the time you buy the keyboard and the iPad, you have spent like six or seven hundred bucks for the base level iPad. You can get a lot of computer for six hundred bucks. So like, I don't know. <laughs> You might as well get a laptop. Well, that's, I mean, that's the thing. It's like that their pricing is, is, is nuts. And what, what I'm concerned about is, so you get an iPad Pro 12.9 inch space. Well, no, let me, let me bring this into uh, where you guys can see. Hold on. I got to hide that bar there. I don't need to see that. Uh, show bookmarks bar. No, thank you. There we go. Okay. 12.9 inch. Pick a color. Uh, this is all overpriced storage. It doesn't really matter. Let's say 250. 128 is probably enough, but it's a hundred bucks for double. We'll take it. Uh, we don't need cellular. And we don't need it to be engraved. We don't want an Apple Pencil with it. Or a keyboard. Or that. Just give me the price. Give me the freaking price. So we're already at $1,200. And, and this is like what I would consider to be like the base if you're going to get an Apple Pro. Or an Apple Pro. An iPad Pro. I mean, technically you go down to $128. But you're still looking at $1,200. They're, so they're going to want like two G's at least for a 16 inch. You know what I mean? And I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> it's not going to be worth that. But I, I would be shocked if it's less than $2,000. 1600 1800 I don't know. That seems low for them. 16 inch screen, that size, first in its, of its class, the first thing they've ever done. There's no other thing like it on the planet. They can charge whatever they want. It's going to be $2,000. And that's, that's freaking nuts for an iPad. I mean, even if it is your main working instrument, that seems like a lot of money to me for an iPad. But maybe I'm wrong. 
Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably not, but maybe I am. I got a new PC and a Wacom's into 16. Exactly. Like for, for, for that money, you can get like a gaming PC, and like a decent tablet, like, but ain't nobody else making iPads. So if you want one, you're going to pay for it. Yeah, the keyboard for it's going to be 500 bucks. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what they're... Yeah, I forgot about that. The $500 keyboard. I mean, here's... I mean, I get... Like, the, the, the tech is cool. The tech... The, the, so those new chips they have are like... It's like, to me, they're breaking the laws of physics. Like, it's they're insanely, insanely fast for not needing any cooling or not needing any... Like, not any special cooling. So like it'll be a beast. It'll be an absolute beast and there will be nothing like it, which is why they can charge that much. Retina screen super high DP. Yeah, it's going to be like a million pixels by a million pixels. <laughs> I, now I want to now I want to see now you got me thinking about this iPad that may or may not be coming out. That's how they get you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right, what else, what other questions you guys have? I'm about to wrap this up a little early today, although I've been yakking for forty minutes now. Uh, any questions about any any coloring issues or uh, uh, NBA basketball? Uh, what are y'all watching? Anybody watching anything good on TV? <laughs> just gaming man i'm on like my fourth playthrough of cyberpunk right now i'm, I'm playing a psycho uh net runner i need to watch last of us i i i i canceled hbo max after they removed westworld and all the cartoons that i like <laughs> but yeah i haven't actually played the last of us i, I I'm, I'm actually like I, I'm torn, man, because I'm like, I need to play the series before I watch the TV show. But I, I've had the game forever. I just, I don't never got around to playing it. Didn't know there was a game. The whole thing is closely, closely based on the game, what I understand. I couldn't get into the game. I, I don't know anything about the game. I, I really don't know a whole lot about it. But yeah, I'll probably end up watching the TV show first and never playing the game. Because <laughs> then I'll be like, well, I know what happens. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy the show more if you don't play it. That's probably true. Did your fourth run last September? Not as big a fan of Last of Us. Prefer Days Gone. Yeah, with uh, Cyberpunk is is uh, the game is really really turned around. Like, like it got such a bad launch, and uh, but they've got a new DLC coming out at some point this year with Idris Elba in it, and so I'm in. <laughs> Though my only complaint with Cyberpunk is it's I, like. It's really, I'm, I'm extremely overpowered in this game. <laughs> it doesn't matter what difficulty it is or what level anybody is or whatever. Like there is, um, like I thought that, you know, jumping around hacking through the camera system was pretty overpowered because like you got a warehouse of guys. There's like 20 guys you got to kill. You can like zap into the camera and then cast spells, you know, the digital magic it has, you know, the hacks and stuff, from the camera view. And so you never have to go into the buildings. You never have to put yourself in any danger. And you can wipe out anyone in view of any cameras, which is almost all of them. And then I find out that the tech gun that I'm carrying around will shoot through walls. And I've got a thing that'll show people through walls. And so, like... It's really, really, it's almost dumb how strong my character is at this point. I've got this shotgun that I will intentionally set off alarms so that I can see people through the walls and then literally just pick a room and just bam, 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 and just kill everybody without ever having to even put yourself in danger. So I, I do hope that they uh, 
whatever follow up they do for this. I do hope they make a sequel in a million years, but it's 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 a little unbalanced. <laughs> Hacking gets so silly OP, there are builds you can chain suicide quick hack while being invisible. Yeah, I mean, there's another... I, I just got the... Uh, what's it called? Um, the Optics Jammer, I think it's called. It's like a legendary quick hack you can get. And when you have it equipped, just equipped, you don't have to use it. But when you have it equipped... When someone sees you, it fries their optics temporarily. So you can just walk along. <laughs> I've got my shotgun. Doo, 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 doo. Somebody sees you, ow, and then they're blinded. You kill them. And then the next guy goes, huh? And then he's blinded, and you can shoot him. Like, it's... <laughs> it's the hacking in that game is is way, way overpowered. But it's really fun. It's in, it's 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 way more fun than it should be. Good seeing your stream. Uh, I'm going to watch the other stream you link now about panels. But yeah, like I said, that's not a stream. That's just a a, a, a long tutorial. But, uh, but yeah, I keep picking up this. There's nothing in it now. Anyway, last last call for uh, topics before I, wrap, before I wrap this up. Anything else we need to discuss? What uh, What is the last movie I saw? Don't, don't, uh, I, I, Babylon is an hour too long. It's been, I haven't been in the theater since. I started watching the show on uh, Copenhagen Cowboy on uh, Netflix. Some weird Danish show, I think. It's super weird. How are we going to try to get sleep? Yeah, I hope you feel better, Jason. It's going, it's making the rounds again. But, uh, but yeah, I don't see any other questions or anything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this, uh, check the links in the description. Check out the project. Uh, buy a course from me. Become a patron. Join the channel as a member. Click the like button. Comment. Click the bell. Is, we, is this it? Is that it? What else is there? I think I told you all the things you have to do. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll do this again uh, probably sooner than next Wednesday because i got more pages to do. So take care of yourselves. Be safe. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.